Hello and welcome. Today we'll be discussing about some basic principles of uh, manuscript formatting. It's more than a writing part as you present your work uh, to journal or to your mentors. Uh, there are certain things you can do to make their life easy or make your chances to increase your publication acceptance rate and so on. So I'm going to share my screen to just quickly share one of the papers we published. Not <clears throat> any means uh, that is a final version, but at least uh, that should give you some idea. So you might be able to see some, some of these as well. Uh, the basic principle of writing is your first page is your title page. And there are a few things goes in that title page. Definite uh, uh, title followed by author's name with their affiliation mark, like uh, number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, <clears throat> and so on and so forth. Then you have their uh, list of affiliations with so the same chronological order. You can have more than one affiliation, but everything goes in chronology. So author one, author two, author three. And if you have author two as a uh, more than one affiliation, then you add that more than one affiliation right there. And next author gets the next affiliation. So two and three, then four, five, six, and so on. Uh, the, the chronology don't change. If this author is associated with the second affiliation, then you mark a second because it already came there. After that, usually I follow is you have your department, if you have your institution name, uh, if organization, city, uh, state, and country, um, that is the most normal norm, but follow the journal's guidelines. Sometimes they want you to put zip codes and pin codes. And stuff. Right after that, you go your uh, corresponding author detail, which is whoever the corresponding authors are. Mostly they are the first author or the last author who are the one who take care of all submission process or at least responding to journal queries. It has their whole introduction where they are listed, their email ID, their phone number. Some journals require you to have a fax numbers. I don't even know where fax is there for my institutions. I, I don't put it anymore. Followed by these four important things, word count, table, figure, and keywords. Word count is you write down to the body of the work, which starts from your background section till before, right before your reference section. And then word count of abstract, where you write down only how much words are there in abstract because some journals have requirements for each of them. How many tables you put it? So you just write down the number of tables, how many figures are in the paper, number of figures, and then keywords which you want your article to be searched by. Don't put any aspirational keywords. Put at least a keyword which is there in the title page for sure. So remember, we do so many systematic reviews and we want the pertinent article to be searched from Goal is to have similar keywords so that you can pick up. In this one, we used conscious and conscious bias, healthcare, pandemic, and so on and so forth. So we end up putting all those four as uh, words. And then I think there was a disparity part which we thought uh, really important. After that, there is it's not a requirement, but you have to acknowledge somebody, let's say a librarian or somebody who contributed, but not enough to be a co-author, you can put them in there. Or if you require uh, institutions uh, approval and all those things, you can put them in the acknowledgement sections. So very simple. Your this is your cover page uh, or title page. Uh, there is a cover letter you have to write uh, to journal editor writing different things as well. We'll co cover that separately, but this is your cover page or your title page, which goes sometimes separately from your paper. So what they do is they blind the whole paper for review process and then this information goes separately and then reviewers may not see this information. After that, you get your abstract section, which is a separate one. Uh, based on the study design, you write down background, background method, result discussion, and conclusion. Here it was a review article, so we didn't have any results and method section. It was directly background discussion conclusion. Most of the time, these are 250 words uh, limit, and then you try to finish them in one page uh, for that matter. I write this in the end, uh, or I ask my mentees, because sometimes you keep on making changes. You want your abstract to be reflected what you have done actually done. This is a separate word count as we talked about. Then here comes the main paper. And then you see that you know, there was no line numbers inserted. Here, I'd like to have a nine numbers inserted. So in case if journal doesn't have a system where reviewers can point out line numbers 19 or page number three. And then another thing is to have the page number inserted on the right, left, right bottom corner. So line numbers. Uh, we can go into detail how you can avoid the line numbers in first session, uh, in first two pages, and then start from there. We will talk about it in a separate session. But background followed by a result discussion, result method, result and discussion here because this is a separate, uh, uh, different uh, article type. It just comes with the discussion. You have one uh, gap, and then you highlight your uh, your headings and subheadings a little bit darker every single thing is in the same font size every say everything is times new roman 12 
So you don't have to have high bold letters, 14, 15, just make sure, and you can do a control A and just select everything and make it as a, make it as a, a times new uh, and, and or calibre, whatever you prefer, make sure that everything is the same one. Same thing, you following, 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 and then in the end you have your conclusion, and then probably in the same page or maybe next page, you start your reference section. They are in chronological order. First thing come first, it's not APA style. You make sure that they all are in uh, same formatting and so on and so forth. And I might notice some formatting difference there. That's why I was showing you uh, the same. Once you've done with this, then you the next thing, your tables and figures come always in the end. This is your final version. You take all the things out and you list them. Most of the time, you'll be submitting your tables and figures separately. You'll submit them as a separate Word document or figures you submit them as a separate JPEG or any other things they require as separately. They don't go into main paper of, of your manuscript. So you have a submission page as a separate title page, manuscript, table, figure and there's a cover letter on top of it there are five or six separate documents get uploaded those of you who have submitted you know the pains of doing those things because they ask you and they they send you back sometimes you have things like that they just send you back saying you know what this is you're not follow the format and that takes your time so i'm trying to save this time for you guys table and figures come out there that's very very simple however when you're writing this table and figures make sure you cite them somewhere that you know that's where your table and one and figure is Sometimes you write down that these things are listed in table one, uh, let's say here, or you can even write it like insert table one here. So that means you are letting uh, you're letting uh, a journal know that where you want the table to go in a final product. Okay, this is just the instruction. You can make it red or something like that, but you should refer table one or figure one somewhere that you know you're talking about these things. I don't see that one here right now, but I'm sure we refer it in our uh, version we submitted to the journal. So just basic principle goal is follow simple guidelines that makes uh, acceptability of your manuscript really, really high. Follow your title page, which includes title, authors, affiliations, word count, table figure, keywords, acknowledgement, followed by your abstract, then main paper, references, and uh, your tables and figure. Simple. I hope this is helpful for you uh, as uh, as you write these papers and as we come close to many of our session. And I would like to see if you have any comments or thoughts about it uh, when we have, uh, when we have, uh, when we get into, uh, 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 when you watch it on the YouTube video. Thank you so much.